Today we're going to talk about the algebraic terms and understanding its parts and how they relate to each other. The number in front of a variable is called the coefficient. The variable is the letter that represents an unknown. Typically, you'll see x and y in algebra, but you can use most almost all letters. The superscript, the number, the little number on top, represents the exponent. So in this case, it's 4 times x to the second power. The second refers to the base x. I said times because there is an invisible multiplication symbol. When you don't see a symbol like addition or subtraction or division in front of a variable, then you can assume that the, that the um, number or variable is being multiplied to each other. So 4x squared is really 4 times x to the second power. Just like xy is x times y. Now when we combine like terms, when you're told to combine terms or you're told identify terms that are like terms, they have to have the same variable and the same exponent. So for example, these two terms are like terms. This is a group of x to the second power and a group of x to the second power. This is four groups of x squares. This is two groups of x squares. If I'm being told to add, then you're adding four plus two. You're adding the coefficient. That's the only thing that changes. Okay. Why only the coefficient are you adding? Well, because you think about it, 4x squared can also be written as four groups of x squares being repeatedly added. Remember, multiplication is repetitive addition. So instead of writing x squared plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared, I could just write it as 4 times x squared. It's four groups of x's being added to itself four times. It's four groups of x squared, sorry being added to itself four times. Plus, I can write 2x squared as two groups of x squares being added. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six groups of x squares. So notice that the variable didn't change and the exponent didn't change when I combine like terms. Now, what happens if there's a subtraction? works the same similar way except now I have negative two groups of x squares I'm, or you can say I'm taking away two groups of x squares so x squared minus x squared cancels just like one minus one cancels because it gives you zero and then x squared minus x squared also cancels. So I have two pairs that cancel each other out. One x squared, take it away. Another x squared, take it away. I'm left with two groups of x squares. Four x squares take away two x squares. Four minus two equals two. Now, some people may get confused and think that the variable only the variable has to be the same for a two terms to be like terms. They say, oh, four and three is gonna give me seven x squares, but you can't combine them. They are unlike terms. Yes, they may have the same variable, but they have different exponents. So this is really four times x squared or four groups of x squares or four multiples of x squares. And this is three groups of x to the cube. So if I could write this, I have of course four x squared or four times x squared is x squared being added to itself four times plus three x cubes being added to itself three times. Notice I have here four groups of x squares and three groups of x to the thirds 
There are different types of groups. It's like saying, I have four apples plus three bananas. How many apples do I have in total? It doesn't change the fact that the fact that I added three bananas doesn't change the numbers of apples that I have. So I can't combine them. Thank you.